Yo, yo, guys, this is Red Yoshi here, and I am here to do a review over something that just came in earlier today. It is my, sorry about the mess, but it is um, on my Super 64. This just came in today. This is pretty much, like I said in my previous video of the Mario Party series and when I'm going to be doing that. This is pretty much a EverDrive 64 with all these games built into it. So I am going to be showing you all the games that come built into this. And this also will allow you to pretty much skip the region locking without having to mod your system. Um, I'll show you in the at the end of this video that I haven't cut the tabs out of my um, American Nintendo 64 to play Japanese or European games on here. Surprisingly enough, I just tried out a European game on here because apparently, from what I've heard on YouTube, the European 64s work different than the Japanese and the American ones. But I guess that's really not the case because I tried out the uh, European version of Mario Party 2 and that works just fine. So I am here to show you the entire list of what's on the Super 64 and it playing a couple of games, Japanese, and I'm going to show you the other region games or games from other regions because this is an American 64. I'm going to show you a Japanese game and a Europe game. So yeah, here is the list right here. I'm not going to read them all off. I'm just going to show them off. You can pause and read. Um, it's cool that it has a 007 GoldenEye. Let me know if that's a good game. I haven't really played any of the James Bond games, but if it's good, then I'll play it. This has quite a large amount of games on it. It even has some of the more expensive games like Conker's, as you saw on the last page. It has uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day right here. I think that's normally around 100 bucks, and I got this game, or I got this Super 64 for like 60 or 70 bucks. So, yeah, this game alone pays off this whole cartridge right here. So, yeah, I am so glad I got this. Um, Normally, you have to get this off a play, uh, page, I think, called like Etsy or something like that. I don't trust those international sellers, so I just got it off of eBay from a U.S. seller, so that's how I got this. I'm just going to show off now the rest of the games. Ignore everything in the background. It's just um, they're watching a... Uh, I think they're watching a Christmas movie because we are getting into the Christmas spirit. We just got our tree in today and got the lights on it. So yeah, I'm just uh, showing off the games and I'm going to show off a couple of um, other region games. Oh, if you're wondering, Mario Story is the original Paper Mario. It's just the Japanese version uh, calling it just Mario Story. Um... So yeah, I'll probably show off the Japanese version of Paper Mario, and then I'll probably show off uh, the European Mario Party just, just to show you that other region games do work on an, an American console. I'm just going through all the games first. A lot of sports games on here, too. So yeah, that's the end of the list. So let me just go to what I know is a Japanese game. Like I said, I'm going to start the Japanese uh, Paper Mario. So I guess we'll start off with the Japanese game for Mario Story, the Japanese Paper Mario, like I said before. And I'll show you that it will work on an American console. And then I'll show off uh, the Europe Mario Party 2. Just show you that no matter what region game you pick on this, it will work. As you can see, the text on the bottom there is, in fact, Japanese. This is not the American one. I've had so much fun playing this game. I've actually beaten it. I beat this. Um, I think I beat every Paper Mario game. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I beat all the way up to the Origami King, except for Sticker Star. That is a game I do not ask me to let's play that game. I will not play that game because a lot of people have been saying that's like one of the worst Paper Mario games. But, 
I'm just gonna show off a little bit of uh, footage for both region games that are not American, just to show you that it will work. So yeah, as you can see, a uh, Japanese game will work, and then I'll reset it, reset it one more time, and I'll do um, the European Mario Party 2, just to show you that that will work too. Uh, let me guys know in the comments if I, I don't know if I'm still going to need a memory pack for the controller. I don't, I'm not sure if it saves to that still, or the uh, actual SD card on this game. If any of you have this, let me know, because I, have, I don't know if I still have to buy a... Um, pack for it. Oh, for a second I was like, why is the menu frozen? But I, I actually I accidentally pressed the Z button on the back here while I'm holding the controller. I'm trying to do this one-handed. But, um, yeah. I guess I'll let me go down to Mario Party 2. And I'll start that up and I'll show you that that will work. So yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but um, as you can see, the game does work. So yeah, it doesn't seem like on my Nintendo 64, it doesn't matter really what region you pick. I don't know, I guess it just varies on what Nintendo 64 you try and play it on, but as you can see, Europe, Japanese, American, they all work for me. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about this. And of course, we will of course try and do the whole Mario Party uh, series, like I said before. So yeah. The only thing that I don't have is nine, and of course I do have to unlock these extra boards off camera, and then of course once we do, we will do the Let's Play because it'll be a while until I unlock the secret boards for these three games. So yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. later.